A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. The Spirit drove Jesus out into the desert, and he remained in the desert for forty days, tempted by Satan. He was among wild beasts, and the angels ministered to him. After John had been arrested, Jesus came to Galilee, proclaiming the gospel of God. This is the time of fulfillment. The kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. The gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear sisters and brothers, perhaps one of the words we heard growing up was the word sin. How many times did we hear, don't do that, it's a sin. We know that we sin. We also know that others sin. If we were to write down a definition of sin, I guess there would be a lot of words dealing with good and evil, something that we spend a lot of time and energy grappling with. The Gospel on this Sunday of Lent tells us that Jesus wrestled with these problems too. Like us, he too was tempted. Before the beginning of his ministry, Jesus is seen face to seen to face trial in the desert. The desert is the traditional arena of Satan. Each year, dear friends, on this first Sunday of land, we are led into the desert. Normally, the desert is a frightful place, and going into the desert can be a frightening experience. Because, you see, the desert is the place of bandits and wild animals. There is no law in the desert. But then, desert is also the proper place to begin land, since this is where God usually finds us, perhaps wandering, a little weary of life, a little empty of spirit. The desert dryness perhaps matches our spiritual dryness. So into the desert we go. We don't have to be afraid to go into the desert. We are in good company there because Jesus went there. The evangelist Mark's story of Jesus is short but powerful. We are told that the Spirit sends Jesus out into the desert. In the Jewish tradition, the desert is the place of transition between slavery and oppression. It is the place where they become God's chosen people. The Jews spent 40 years wandering in the desert. When Jesus goes out into the desert, he does not go there only to wrestle with good and evil. He also goes out into the desert before he begins his ministry. For 40 days and 40 nights to come to terms with who he is and what his life to be all about and 
the kind of Messiah that he has been called to be. For Jesus, dear friends, the time in the desert is a time full of great significance. So we find ourselves again in the desert of land. Like how Jesus must have felt in the desert, perhaps we too are hungry, parched, scared, and nervous. The challenge the next six weeks places before us is not just to overcome temptations in our lives, which is important, but also to ask ourselves, as disciples of Christ, what kind of people we want to become. Lent is a time that we have been given so that we can get in touch with God, who we are, what our lives are all about, and to see God who works in our lives all the time. In today's Gospel, Jesus says, repent and believe in the Gospel. Repentance means a change of heart. When Jesus offers his invitation to change of heart, you see, he is not speaking about emotional adjustments in our lives. Rather, he is issuing a tough invitation to rethink the whole of our lives. It is our attitudes toward God, toward others and ourselves, and the kind of lifestyle we are living. In many ways, Lent is a journey. As we begin this journey, a couple of questions you might want to ask might be, where am I now in life? Where do I want to go in these next 40 days? What is it that I need to give up or let go? What do I want to take with me on this journey? Perhaps some practical ways to begin our Lenten journey might be, might be to make a list of those parts of our lives that don't seem right just now. You know, the things that bother us. Those might be issues perhaps at home, at work. It might include the ways we forget God or the relationships in our lives that might be shaky for whatever reason. It often helps us to see all these problem areas in front of us and then decide which most needs God's grace and our efforts. But there is something else that is needed to do. In the desert, there is time to look for God. So make the commitment to set aside some special desert time for yourself each day, to pray in a time to be by yourself. For most of us, dear friends, the struggle to overcome sin and temptation is a task that could take a lifetime. 
Jesus did not overcome Satan in the desert. He achieved that only in death. Lent reminds us that we need to forgive ourselves in case we have gone back on our good intentions of Ash Wednesday. Forgive yourself and start over because that is want that is what lent is all about starting over with god have a blessed weekend and a wonderful season of lent